Welcome to this very last episode of our Europa Universalis 4 Portugal Let's Play. So this will be an epilogue where we uh, look in the ledger and we will run the timeline of this Let's Play and uh, talk about how it went and so on. So it won't be a full 13 minutes, uh, 30 minutes let's, uh, b a video, it will be a bit shorter. At least that's what I think it will be. <laughs> I don't think we, I can fill out 30 minutes just talking about this one. So, uh, yeah, and we just heard the national anthem for Portugal, which I think was fitting. Um, and we showed off our domain. So, I would like to start with uh, looking in the ledger and see how we did with the, the various things. We will go through most of it and uh, so yeah, see how it went. So, let's see. Let us start with maybe income. I wonder who is number top here. <laughs> it's us with a thousand gold, eleven hundred gold or ducats. So uh, yeah, and let's look in development. Uh, we are also the top one here. So we have done very well for ourselves, and we have played this on Iron Man, as you can see here. Uh, yeah, but you know Portugal is not a hard nation to play. Uh, as long as you keep Spain happy, you are somewhat safe uh, from at least losing. But I think we did all right in expanding. So yeah, and score comparison, not that important. Uh, I guess we can look at it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, score. Ah, we are number two. <laughs> look at that. Very high Diplo. Very high admin, but not so high in military. Well, still up there, still number three. So score through the ages, not important. Technologies, well, we are maxed in everything. Uh, right? Yes. Uh, religion, not important. Province, uh, well, I think I know the best one here. Oh, I did not. Production, uh, oh, it's gold. Right. Lisboa has the most taxes. Hmm. Uh, anything interesting? Advisors, no. Military leaders, no. Current ruler, right. That's uh, for every land, no. The Holy Roman Emperors, no. Previous rulers, that's sort of interesting. Let's see, let's start from the start. Yeah. I can't really remember, I can remember we had a Maria. Yeah, that's it. She was a very good ruler and we had her for a long time. Uh, 49 years, so yeah. And she had some good traits. Free thinker, meters touch, sinner, not so good, but uh, yeah, and nice stats. She was our, one of our best monarchs, really, we had. Um, I think it was actually the highest one. No, Isabel de Souza was better, but uh, yeah, we only had her for like uh, eight years, so yeah. Um, not much else to say. Our last emperor here was really good, but we only had him for <laughs> a year, <laughs> something like that. So, yeah, let's look at armies. Total, we number, th number three, Spain has a big army. But we also fed Spain a lot, because we pulled so much trade home and they got 40% of it, roughly. Because we didn't, yeah, expand as much on the Iberian uh, Peninsula. We have the biggest navy, by far, o over 100 ships. Yeah. We have, uh, well... Uh, if we take the next three p uh, three uh, top in heavies, we almost have as much as those combined. Not entirely, but almost. Yeah, a lot of transports. Holy smokes. Are we losses? Uh, let's see. Did we lose a lot? Uh, we lost 4.3 million people. That's Oh, the Ottomans lost uh, quite a lot. Yeah, 12 million naval losses. Don't think we lost that many, no. Spain lost a lot of ships. Holy smokes. We're not even on the list here. 
<laughs> We're all the way down here. 36 ships. We lost 36 ships in over, yeah, roughly 400 years of gameplay. That's crazy. Income comparison. Let's see, taxes. We are number three in taxes. Almost number two. Production. Number one. Trade. <laughs> Not even number one. <laughs> gold. No. Number two in gold. Tariffs. Yeah, by a long shot. But yeah. We also developed uh, Brazil quite a lot and made them bigger by giving the feeding them some of Colombia here at the end. Uh, yeah, and uh, also developed Australia and New Zealand quite a bit as well. So yeah, you need to develop those lands and get the tariffs up as high as possible. I think that's the way to go with the uh, subjects, or at least, I mean, colonies in general. Um, you don't want to annex income, inflation, not important really. Yeah. We didn't convert the last bit we took in Africa, which was a shame. We got a lot of Portuguese uh, cord. Yeah. Mm, almost caught everything. Yeah. Got a lot of different resources here. Not important. Not important. Loans. No. Trade nodes. Local. Brazil is actually the highest one. Huh. Mm, didn't know that. Incoming. I think that would be Sevilla. Yes. 300 gold coming in. But we didn't use our trade fleet at the end for tr uh, protecting trade, we just used it in our main navy, so yeah, that's why we should have probably have been a bit higher in trade. Um, okay, trade goods, not important. Trading bonus. Market share. Zero, 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 zero. What? Wait, let me just let the time go for a month. And look again. Yes, there we go. So, yeah. Would you look at this? Oh, market share. We are top dog in a lot of different uh, resources. Almost in iron as well and cotton. Yeah. That's what Portugal is good at. Production. Oh, it's provinces. Not important. Trade comparison. I think we should be number one. No? Hmm. Hungary has more trade efficiency. Huh. Impressive. But we have the most mercantilism, 100%. And income. Yep, number one. Hmm. Current wars, great powers. Yeah. So that was the ledger. Let's check. Religious map mode. Yeah. A bit of Protestants. Some Catholics. Sunni being strong. That's because Ottomans uh, were really strong in this game. And they're eating a bit of Russia here. So not the sick man of Europe. More like the strong man of Europe in this uh, timeline. Russia being beaten by Ming a lot of times because they had uh, Buryati as a tributary state. Yeah, uh, let's look here. So yeah, nothing spectacular. We converted most of uh, Africa to Catholic, Spain and me. So uh, yeah, and the Turks didn't convert the Coptics because that, but that's because they have uh, that uh, tolerance of heret uh, heathens. Uh, so South America, Catholic, uh, Protestant, Catholic in Northern Africa, Northern Africa, North America. Um, yeah, nothing too interesting. Mm -hmm. Institutions, is that important? Oh, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that was all of them, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so all institutions are over here in Europe. Actually, one is in Africa, but yeah, ten, ten years, which is ours. So we had two in, in, in institutions uh, spawning here, so that's very good. Colonialism. It's this one and global trade, so that's quite good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we uh, we started by taking this area from Mo Morocco actually quite early. So and they never really tried to take it back because then Spain began attacking them, as you can see. And we just like played the colonial game, the trade game, which is of course where Portugal shines. And yeah made a very powerful Brazil um, 
but they never felt inclined to rebel. Uh, 809 development, because we simply fed them or developed their land so much. Uh, you can see here in the bottom, developed provinces minus 235.5% in Liberty Society, and the same here in Australia, that's even higher, 344. Uh, yeah, and they're giving us, it's a bit buggy here with the, uh, with the number, and they're giving us a lot of tariffs. So yeah, that's the way to go. Develop them, keep them happy, and they will make you happy with money. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we didn't focus that much on Africa. Uh, well, a bit on the, on the coast, of course, to get those uh, trade nodes going, uh, trade companies, which you can see here. Um, oh yeah, we made this a core, so that couldn't be a trade company. But anyways, um, yeah. And we also, of course, um, we ignored India. We got Goa from an event, so that's fine. Got a bit of uh, trade power here in the Gulf of Aden to divert trade from India. Well, some of it down to us instead. As you can see, we have, yeah, pretty much uh, capped in uh, trade power, except here, but that's okay. I think Spain is getting other bit. Uh, England and France is taking a bit, but that's okay. Um, so we went over to uh, the Far East, to the Spice Islands, and uh, yeah, instead of just only Timor, I think, Portugal had, maybe Malacca, I think, or something like that, and uh, we didn't get Canton, or, well, Macau, which is a bit of a shame, because that's what Portugal got in, yeah, in our timeline, <laughs> in the real timeline. But we, you know, I think I did, we, we did a decent job in uh, locking this down. Um, as I've said several times, I like uh, I like to have pretty borders, and I like to like send off my empire with a nice uh, salute. Uh, uh, I don't know, a bit of a role player, I guess, <laughs> something like that. Uh, yeah, and we got um, the entirety of the Australian colonial re uh, region. So yeah, uh, yeah, a very good run. I like to play my campaigns to the very end. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I don't see the t timeline here. Um, not that important, but it's okay. Let's put in a medium. Uh, fast, I guess, that's fine. So, you can see we got actually this air bit very early. Um, 10 years and stuff like that from Morocco to lock down the Sevilla trade node even more. We expanded here. See, we're colonizing here on the coast and here as well. Okay, I can almost not follow here. Um, Colonizing these islands, Fernando Po and Sao Tome. Um, keep colonizing here, Brazil. We reached the the horn, uh, the horn of Africa. No, the coast of uh, South Africa. Uh, we took Ile Bourbon. Um, yeah, I think after that we colonized these islands over here. Yep, and here we go. Timor, West Timor. Uh, bit of that. Let's zoom out a bit. Um, we got the coast here and here. Yeah, a lot of coast. Maybe a bit too fast. I <laughs> can't even follow. Um, expand a bit more in Brazil. Beginning to colonize here in Australia. We're 1600s now. Uh, yeah. A grip on the Spice Islands continue. A war with Brunei here. Uh, and we took the top part of uh, the Ache Island. Um, keep expanding here in Brazil. And uh, locking down the I I I Ivory Coast as well. Uh, yeah, and um, I think most of the action will come over here with the various wars. You see we made a war with Pasai here. And the one more war with Brunei perhaps. Um, and here we go again, eating more Brunei. The thing was over here, Ming got a lot of these miners locked down as tributary states, uh, so we had to be a bit careful. We attacked Malacca a few times with Ming coming, but they didn't really do much. Uh, okay, we locked down the mainland of Australia. I think we'll colonize uh, New Zealand soon. Got the rest of the uh, Borneo Island and the rest of the Aceh Island. I think we're eating up uh, the Majapahit down here. Um, did we do much over here? I think we just locked down this coast really here for a long time. We do make war with Ethiopia at some point. Um, twice even, I think. Um, yeah, colonizing New Zealand. 
Um, got a bit here in Malacca, as you can see here. That's a center of trade right there. We got Goa through an event earlier, not that important. And a foothold on the Philippines have begun. Yeah, various wars. I think soon we will finish off Malacca. Yeah, you can see. Oh, C4, C14, that's uh, Norway, a Norwegian colony. Bit boggy with colonies. Um, yeah, this is a peaceful period, might be. No, we took here uh, Ethiopian coast or oh, African coast. The Horn of Africa, I think it's called. Um, yeah, Ming was very strong in this game. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit difficult. Uh, oh, there we go. Took the rest of the <laughs> the, uh, the Mamluks who had uh, uh, immigrated over here to the Philippines from Egypt. Um, bit odd, but oh well. Begin colonizing here in inland, uh, inland of Africa and uh, attacking Ayutthaya, getting this coast here. Um, yeah, just mopping up really. We tried a few wars with Ming, but it didn't really work out. They were too strong. Um, I might have been able to do something if I doubled down on it, but nah. You know, when you get this rich and this big, my tendency to be extremely serious with it, it tends to go a bit down. You know, I still wanted to win and get nice borders and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Anyways, we also expanded Brazil over here by eating at the Norwegian colony. Uh, yeah. Let's just speed up a bit. And I will do a timeline where I don't say anything and you can just watch. Zoom out a lot so you can see the rest of the world as well. So, done. So, let us uh, think you need to do like this, right? And, okay, how can. Okay, Brazil is important, but, you know, Brazil is just being Brazil expanding. So, let's put it like this. And uh, let us take the music. Uh, it's here. Uh, music player. Put the music a bit up and then let the timeline roll.
Okay, uh, that was it. Um, yeah. So um, once my American or United States Let's Play is done, I will upgrade the um, EU Europe, Europa Universalis 4 to the Hungary patch. I'm still playing on the Ming patch. Um, and uh, I will start a new Let's Play in Europe. Uh, one of my viewers, well two of them actually, one of, uh, I think it was called S. Ronan C, has suggested maybe a Tuscany Let's Play or a Prussia Let's Play or Brandenburg, like playing tall, getting the German uh, Germanic uh, regions and with Tuscany um, getting northern Italy staying as Tuscany and getting like centers of trade in Carthage and Alexandria and so on and very good ideas. I think I will start maybe two Let's Plays once the, once the US is done and I'm, I'm liking um, I'm liking those ideas. Uh, also, Donald Pepe has suggested a, a more land-focused games, and I will do that since both the US one and Portugal, of course, has been very colonizing and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this Let's Play. I found it very enjoyable, at least. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.